In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to perform matrix and vector calculations. You can do this in a quick way, or you can store the matrices and vectors in case you need to use the same ones more than once. This tutorial demonstrates both methods. To work along with the tutorial, you may find it easiest to reset the calculator before starting so that your screen matches the one in the video. Looking at the quick method first, choose Run Mode. Go to Math rather than Matrix Vector on the first menu, but choose Matrix Vector from the next menu. 2x2 two two gives the matrix template, type the values, scrolling rather than using Execute to complete the matrix. Scroll right to enter a second matrix, then 2x2 two two, and enter the values and execute. Use Option and Matrix Vector to find the determinant, then Matrix and then Answer. If you need other sizes of matrix, or you think you'll need to use the same matrix more than once, use matrix mode and store the matrices of whatever size you may need. It follows the same pattern as the vector calculations which I'm looking at next in this tutorial. Go back through the menus, choose matrix vector and then the vector page. Choose the dimension for the vector and type in the coefficients and then exit and scroll down to enter vector B. Return to Run. Use Option to find the vector menu and then use the arrow to find the third set of options. Type the dot product first and then the two vectors using the alpha key and a comma to separate them. Execute gives the value 0 in this case. The cross product is typed in exactly the same way. You can find additional resources at education.casio.co.uk.